Thanks, David. Um, this, this document by design is uh, one that some of you will know, other, others maybe not, and I'm going to use it as the sort of basis for a, a run through the principles of urban design. It's interesting that until about, although the term urban design's been in use for, you know, certainly several decades, certainly since the middle of the 20th century, it was really, as a term, urban design was hardly used in government um, policy and, until really about 10, 10 or 15 years ago. And it was really about 10 years ago when this document came out that, um, for the first time, the planning system started making explicit what it was that we were trying to achieve um, uh, when we try and design places for people in terms of sort of trying to codify what urban design was all about. That hadn't really done, been done before within, within the planning system. So this document by design, it's about 10 years old and it remains the government's sort of national guidance on, on, on the principles and practice of urban design. I'm going to go through, um, to start with, uh, some of the sort of um, the uh, principles and then in the second um, of the two talks that we're doing we'll come on to some uh, of the aspects of form which are to do with how the principles are realized in practice. So if you like it's sort of theory and practice in the two halves. It's quite important that this should not be seen as a sort of um, tick box exercise. One of the problems with by design is it's got some incredibly useful single pages where all of these things are sort of codified and it sort of looks like when you're examining a place you might be able to tick tick off um, the attributes and say, well, is this working or isn't it, by going through them one by one. Obviously, as we've seen from all the examples over there and from our own experience, things aren't quite that simple. Life is more complicated. But nevertheless, it's useful to have a sort of way of, of structuring our thinking about places. And by structuring our thinking and perhaps trying to apply the structured thinking to, say, places like those on the, on the cool wall, we can kind of realize that Places that we like have things in common about them, and places that we don't like have things in common about them. And if we understand what those things are, then, then we might be getting somewhere. <laughs>